One fine fall morning, the Joneses decided to add a new member to their family. Well now, here you go, Max. Enjoy your new home. We are so happy to have you, dear. Yes, I hope you make the best of it. Max was very content with his new home. After all, he had furnished it with everything a dog could want. Or, well, almost everything. After that first cold winter, Max went back to enjoying the comforts of his yard. And although Max was perfectly happy with his existence, the neighbors weren't quite so content. Hey, tell your owner to clean the yard! Why don't you wait till your walk? Max didn't understand what all the fuss was about, until one day... Notice the greenhouse gases. He was so sad. His yard was such a mess. But what could he do? Max realized that if he used his poop as a source of energy, he could clean up his yard and heat his home. All he had to do was find a way to trap those nasty gases from his poop. But how? Max realized if he got to work quickly, he could have a warm home in time for next winter. Max understood that he could use the gases from his poop, just like the gas grill in his yard. As poop decomposes in an airtight chamber, it undergoes a process called anaerobic digestion. Microorganisms feed on the organic material in the poop and produce methane gas. If this gas can be collected, it can then be used to power a gas heater. Just like your gas appliances at home, the solution is called a methane digester or a biogas plant. A biogas plant works by storing organic waste in an airtight tank so the microbes in the waste can undergo an anaerobic reaction. As the methane gas is created, it floats to the top of the tank. Since the gas has nowhere to escape, it collects, increasing pressure. 
A valve at the top of the tank can then be used to control the flow of gas to your appliance. After the waste decomposes, the material that's left, which is rich in nutrients, can be used as fertilizer. This material flows out of the tank where it is collected, ready to be used. Biogas plants are very common in some parts of the world, with an estimated 2 million households using them in India alone. And their use is increasing as a source for clean, renewable energy. And it uses a readily available fuel, poop. More specifically, poop from the millions of cows in farms and villages in the developing world. In the U.S., some farms are experimenting with converting their cow's poop into electricity. If we did that for the 98 million cows in the U.S., we could meet 2% of the nation's yearly energy needs and reduce greenhouse gas pollution by 1 million metric tons every year. Do you think we should bring Max inside, dear? It's getting colder out. Oh, I think he'll be just fine. 